Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. You will find all manner of different ways. You know, every farmer has approached the situation and has thought, right, well, what's the best way for me to do that? And so he does it to the best of his ability with the skill set that he's got. And his solution will often achieve the exact same end result as many other farmers around the world. But, and this is the big but, this is the big difference. He could go about it in a completely one you know, completely different way to another farmer. You could have another farmer down the road who's looked at the same problem and come up with his own solution, and you've got two complete opposite ends of the spectrum in how they go about dealing with whatever this little situation might be. And that's kind of something that I've always found fascinating, where the, the different ways that farmers um, solve the same problems. And then you'll also get the situation where you've got two farmers presented with two rather different problems who need two rather different results who end up doing pretty much exactly the same thing on opposite sides of the world and because of where they are it, it achieves vastly different results it's it's quite sort of well it, it is quite an amazing thing all, all of these different things that uh, do tend to come up how have i already got grass in there Oh. Oh, of course. Uh, does it say here? I know why they've already got grass in there. All of this grass I've just gone and picked up is now completely wasted. Because you can't sell loose grass in seasons. Um, and I completely forgot about this bit. Does it actually say in here? Is this is something that I want to see. Uh, crops, uh, hay straw and grass. I don't see it here, but as far as I know, Seasons actually takes into account the grass that you've got in the pen over here. So these cows have got a set number of litres of grass in the pen right there. And that's what they're eating. So we can see that. And then if you look on here... I don't know if any change will have come about yet. Actually, I need to... We'll go there, and then we'll go grass like that. And then go over to growth. Right, that's now growing. You see where the cows are on there? They've eaten some of that, and that's now growing. So, and we'll leave the stuff that we've got in the trailer, and we'll go off and we'll get some more. But you do actually get a little bit of grass that is put into the game via what you've got in the pen. And this is something that a lot of people wanted. This is something that it had a huge number of requests. So it's really awesome to see it in there. I mean, yeah, I did completely forget all about it, but it is genuinely cool to see that it is actually in the game. It, it's fantastic. Right, we will get you right here. You have run out of seed again. I'm going to load it up completely with seed. We're going to bring it back over here and let it carry on doing all its planting. It's got a strip there. It's got a couple of little bits up the top. It won't take too long to fill this one back up with seed. And then we can bring it back out. I will, as I bring it back to the field, we'll do a quick run along the side of this field here. And just get that strip planted in. It's because of the where the road is. It's doing that bit where it's um, treating the road a bit like a railway. Which is really good. That is actually a really awesome thing. Because it stops us from... Well, if we had traffic on there, it would stop it from getting caught up with the traffic. But honestly, it, as we don't have traffic, it wouldn't really matter. But still, it, it is doing it, and that is a good thing. So I'm definitely not going to complain about that. I'm really happy about that. I'm going to run this over. Get that one completely filled back up. It should actually be enough to finish all of the barley. We'll have that done. We'll get the cows all in there today, and those will be done. And don't think there's going to be a huge amount else that we need doing at the moment. We just kind of then, we, we need to get sort of move forward a little bit so that we can get started on planting the corn in that field over there in front of us. Loaded up and ready to rumble. We go racing back up through here. Get that one out and we'll unfold it down on this corner. Run up through there with one line and then I'll let it carry on from where it was. We've got the little bit, well, it's the... the 
the long bit going off from those trees over there up through. We'll do that right at the end. Um, we, we can generally just keep ignoring it. And it will just keep doing what it needs to do. For the most part. I will get over to here like that. Start and lower. And we're away. Right. And it's starting to use up the seed as well. Alright, that's good. So we can go up through here. So yeah, you've got the, the like there's a couple of little bits around the plantation of trees there. You could just see the odd little white spot there. Uh, I'll ignore that for now. We'll deal with that at the end, I think. It's this one here. We just want one run along here. And then we can jump back into where we were just now and let that one carry on. The longer bits there, I'll deal with those later. When I'm tidying up around that bit, we'll also deal with those bits. It's not that many of them, but there are, there are a few. There's a, there's enough that it's going to cause us a little bit of an issue. I'll go like that, I think. There, just clean up all of that. And then I will bring you up this way. There, get that one into there. So then we, our next task is we want to go rushing off to dealership again. So I'll bring you to there. You can inch forward a little bit and lower down and that one's away again. Fan schmastic. Right, you go and do that, and then I am going to do this. I'm going to leave that one right there. Actually, no. Leave it there, not take it with me. And we're going to go back down over here. We're going to load up this trailer, and we're going to head off. I'm going to go and get some more cows. This time, we will get... I'm going to try this with one male cow. I'm going to do one bull. That's, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get one bull. We can't get Holstein bulls. Apparently a Holstein bull is not loud, so we're not having, um, we're not getting purebred cows at all. That's not going to happen, but what we will have is one bull. We'll get one of the black ones. Um, it says, uh, was it Salen or something? I can't remember what they were called. Um, but I, here in the UK, they're very often, um, the black ones are quite popular because it's Aberdeen, Aberdeen Angus is the black ones. They're a fairly docile bull, the Aberdeen Angus. They're, they're quite easy to deal with. I've worked on farms before that have had Aberdeen Angus bulls. And then the animals that are produced from them, if you have an all-black um, calf that is produced from it, that is generally, for purposes of selling meat, classed as an Aberdeen Angus. Um, yeah, it's only a um, half-breed. Um, because the, the parents, the, the mother wasn't at Aberdeen Angus. Um, but if it's all black, they will class it as Aberdeen Angus when it comes to, um, buying and selling the meat. Which is, yeah, it's a little bit strange that they go and do that. Um, but the Aberdeen Angus is in such high demand, it's apparently a really good meat. It's apparently a, a, a really good beef and there's a lot of people that really like it. I really, really despise invisible barriers on bridges like this. This is something that really irritates me um, when those are there. There is no reason whatsoever to have one of them, but if you've got any kind of low vehicle, it's gonna catch on it. And this goes back to where I was um, having a little bit of a rant about the testing that should have been done over in the shop. And um, then Jimmy J, who, who very kindly went and altered it for me, but didn't test it properly and ended up getting fired. He's been rehired. We, we, we will just state, remember, he was rehired, so I don't need to load a message saying, Why did you fire Jimmy? He didn't do anything wrong. No, he's been rehired. He's proved himself again. He's been rehired. But that was another bit right there on that bridge that wasn't tested. The, the, the map was made, and there's a lot of really good things about this map, but the, it, it is obvious that there were a number of things on the map when it was made that weren't tested. And that is another one of those things that wasn't tested. It should have been. It absolutely should have been. You put a bridge in like that, you drive something low over the bridge and find out what's going on with it. And, uh, but mind you, hang on, I want to go there. Um, FS-17... They had exactly the same issue in FS17, right? It's the sailor right here, but that's, that's Aberdeen Angus. We're going to get one of the... We're, we're going to get just one. I'm only going to get one. I'm going to see if one is enough. And then we're going to go with 23 of these. Um, yeah, start moving those in. Uh, how much was that? Almost 2,000 as well. 
So we are going back to 40, 48,000 again for 24. There, like that. And confirm. Right, we've got 25, uh, 24 animals on board. Have we got that black one in here? There it is. <laughs> that one's glitching a little bit. Right, anyway. Um... It's, it's a very simple bit of testing that can be done. Um, but they didn't test it properly even on the Goldcrest map in FS17, the, um, the Giants one. That bit wasn't tested properly. We know this because you took the Goldhofer transport trailer and you tried to get across the, um, the level crossing where the train came across. And as you went across the crossing, it stopped dead. And anything you had on the back of the trailer carried on moving which quite frankly was a little bit disappointing um it was more than more than one person was incredibly annoyed by that particular uh, escapade but they did eventually fix it and they've learned their lesson because th there isn't anything like that in this one which is very very cool now we are going to hopefully be able to get back across here because i don't want these poor cows stopping dead on the bridge Right, it does actually seem that it's all right going in this direction. It's the other direction. It's coming from our farm that it causes the problem. I'm going to go in the middle. No particular reason, just because I'm hoping, you know, well, it seems to work. There's no logic behind that. I just sort of thought that maybe the middle would be better than the edge. And it did work, so we'll go with that. We'll run with that one. Um... And we get these back, and then once they're back, we will have to wait, a, I think, a minute or two for everything to update. And then we'll see if they're going to start producing any calves. I don't know what time of year they produce calves, though. And that's the other thing. It's, it's, um, it might just be the wrong time of year for producing calves. Does it say anywhere when they produce calves? Because different animals breed at different times of the year. And I think they do the same in this game as well. Um, cows, you can generally have them calving at any time of the year. Some, well, most dairy farmers will have their cows farm, uh, calving all year round. It's just something that they do. They, they have them calving all year round. But I do know one or two dairy farmers that actually have their entire herd calve in the spring. They dry them all off just before Christmas. So they're not milking from, in Christmas, uh, from Christmas onwards, basically. They, they, they're not milking. And I think it's two months where they don't milk. And then they start calving in March. And then they all calve. And then they've got the advantage of the spring growth on the grass. Which is quite a handy thing to have. Let's bring you up to there. Right, now remember, I had to have most of the trailer overlapping it. There we go, like that. And we will drop all of these. Oh, wait, no, I want to go that way. There, yeah, unload. I want to put them all into this paddock over here. Oh. No. I want to put them all into the paddock over here. This is the trailer. I want to put them in this side. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Right, let's, let's move everything into... There we go. Right, we've got everything here. We've got 48 animals in here now. Confirm. 48 animals all in there. So let's now go and have a look in here. So I'm just going to scroll down there like that and click on here. So water is down. It's saying not fertile. I'm not really expecting it to do any different. That's got some grass in there, but that's not changed. I don't know which is the older ones and which is the newer ones. There's my sailor right there. I Look, I bring this over like this, okay, there. As soon as I try to move the mouse over, it, it's, it's doing that, which means that I'm being forced to scroll. If I've got 2,000 animals, that's a lot of scrolling that I don't want to have to do. Go out that side, and it doesn't allow me to scroll, and then... Oh, right. Okay, scrolling seems to be working very differently. If I do it like that, if I press and hold the scroll button and I move over to here, it's still doing it. There, and then quick, quite quickly, and it does seem to do it right. So there's a little um, trick for you. You can sort of try and work your way around it like that. Uh, we're going to go through. So we've got the sailor there. 
I'm looking up through. So slurry, they're all... It's all the same on there. I think really we just need to wait for things to move forward. But also... Hang on. I want to do that there. And I want to come into here. Grass. We're going to need more water. Because it says that we've got to give them stuff every day. I don't think we've got enough water here at all. Which means that we're going to be... This is why we actually want that mod down there. And we want that one working. So let's, we'll just move this tractor out of the way a minute. Um, we will go over and we'll have a look at the planting that's being done. I'll get this one out of here a minute. It's a good job, actually. I've got the tractor, I think. I think a truck would struggle to get the trailer around this corner. It's a little bit tight around these pens. Just a smidgen. It might be that at some point in the future we decide that we're going to run things a little bit differently. So we've only got 48 animals so far. We still need some more. I said I wanted 100, but, I mean, if we go with 96, because I did say that we'll do a limit of 24 animals in that trailer. Let's go this way. Get to the right one. And you have stopped over here. I got a little bit down there that I can do, and then I got another big chunk over there. So I'm, I'm going to go over to this one first. Start working on that bit there. Actually... I think what we'll do is we'll follow this one along down to the shorter edge. And then start... No, 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 no. I won't do that. I'm just going to bring it over to here. And then I'm going to press H on it. And I'm going to let that run up through. We're going to nurse it along a little bit. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to speed time up. And I'm going to jump us forward until midday. And that way we've got... There we go. So we've, we've got a little bit of... Um, uh, payment has gone out, but jumping us forward by well over an hour, that's going to allow the animals to sort of do a few things and establish a few things that they want to establish and sort of figure themselves out a little bit as well. And then we can go and check on them and we can see what they're doing. When I say go and check on them, I mean we're going to use our fancy PDA tablet type situation that we've got and we will do it like that. It's going to go through there. Right. Oops. There, right, so now we've slowed that one down. I can go back over this way again, and I want to go like that down to these. But they're still saying not fertile. So maybe the sailor doesn't have anything to do with it. Maybe I've got that wrong. Maybe I only need to have Holsteins here. It's just at a certain time of year. That wouldn't surprise me. I can't find any information. I'm, they used to tell you what time of the year the animals would reproduce. And we don't have that information at the moment. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. We've got a whole load of cows. I'm going to get more cows, I think. But we may just leave that until we've got it absolutely 100% confirmed when we're going to be wanting... Um, or when the cows are able to start reproducing, I'll, I'll make some inquiries and then we'll be able to do that. This one here is almost finished. And then I can get that one going up there. Just on the other, I'll tidy up that bit, little bit as well here. We've done a really good job, I think, with all of this planting and everything here. Um, that one can actually just carry on there for a second. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to this one. And we will leave this trailer here like this. And we'll go and get the trailer load of grass that we've got over this side. I know we got more grass up there in the field. We can't really do anything with that. That's just going to have to kind of stay where it is for now. We will grab that on there like that. And I will back this bad boy up round here. And I will tip it in for the cows. That's going to give them some grass. Right, if, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to look at, was we want to go back into here like this and go like that. So grass, 4,500. Water, 12,000. So we definitely need some water in here. We've got lots of slurry being produced already. That's pretty cool, actually. And we'll start unloading this grass. So when the grass grows again, when it grows another notch, we should have a little bit more. If I do that two days right we should have a little bit more grass in the pen and that will also sort of result in coming through into the feeding trough so we don't need to put quite as much grass as you would have thought in there which is that's a really cool thing 
Um, hay and silage is going to be next. And then, obviously, in the summer, we can start working on our total mixed ration. So there's no milk yet because the cows aren't fertile. Can't do anything about that. 18,000 litres of grass left in this one. Let's park that one up there and just unhitch it. We're going to be wanting more grass from that. I'm going to go and put this one back onto the animal trailer. And that's ready to go and get our next load of cows. It'll take a minute or two to um, go over and pick them up. But another two loads is what I'd like. So then we've got like our 100 cows that we're starting off with. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Let's go back this way. So many vehicles here. Right, let's stop you a second. There's a little bit right there. Which I'm going to get, and then I'm going to... There's actually several little bit. I don't know why it's got to leave these little tiny dots. Ordinarily, they wouldn't bother me, but it, because they're snow white with the line that we put down on the field, they really do bug me. Like, they, they really, really do irritate me more than you could possibly believe. But, yeah. There's not really much that we can do other than this, or just ignore them. When we don't have lime on the field, I'm quite happy to ignore them. I'll be more than happy to just completely ignore them and pretend that they don't exist. But for now, I'm going to take them out. Because otherwise it's going to drive me potty. And I'm going to bring this one around like that. I'm still actually planting at the moment. And then I'm going to bring you to there. And we'll let that one get going up across there. And what that's going to do... I'm hoping is do most of that bit there then we once that's done we can just sort of do the last little bit of tidy up and that is all of the barley planted let's go in and watch this bad boy for a minute it's getting really grubby isn't it look at the filth that is hanging off of that tractor how has it managed to get that dirty just sort of patrolling up and down the field it's, it's, it's dry it's been dry yeah true Sure, we've had a little bit of dust accumulate. You know, there, there, there has been a little bit of dust there, but I mean, the field is honestly not that dusty. Right, well, you carry on and do that, because there's another thing that we want to get, and people have pointed out that I still haven't bought this, and I really should, because it's part of seasons. There's something that we need to use. So we're going to do that. There's a snowplow right there. That's a salt spreader, and that's a snowplow. And it's this one. The MT-9. So I don't know what this is about. We get that one. Okay, it's, it's like chainsaws, this one is. So we go over here, and there it is. And this one allows us to look at information. So let's bring this one up. Previous hand tool, X hand tool, left alt S, seasons, activate. All right, what am I... Where, where, where's my activation? I want to see how much moisture is in the ground. Oh, right, okay. I was just pressing and um, just just simply pressing. Um, you've got to press and hold the, your mouse button for it to actually do something. Uh, that is the precise geolocation, 449.97, slam, um, comma, uh, or by uh, 1073.77 there. Elevation of 76.9 meters. We've got barley planted. It's 0% growth. We've got 14% field moisture, 100% seeded plants no well what's 14 percent nine percent nine percent field moisture i don't know well what's that one okay i don't know what all these symbols are i'm very confused i'm easily confused i'm very easily confused so what is that one that one right there is telling me something about moisture 14 percent and then that one is telling me nine percent moisture on the field perhaps I'm thinking maybe that's 9% moisture in the field. Uh, is that 14% moisture is the maximum that we want? Or is that what we actually want? Because we got 9% at the moment, which means that we may be a little bit dry in the soil. Right, I can't run while I got that one in my hand. Let's, let's run over here a minute and just have a look at the next bit. And well, Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll do this again. I'll see if it comes up with the same results. Those two are different. These are pretty much the same. All right. 
Now I can run over here and let's have a look at this road. 9% moisture. And what about the grass? Grass, 67% grown. 14 now is i think that that 14 percent might be maximum moisture and then that is actual moisture content that's my guess anyway that that's that's what i'm guessing get rid of that one and okay well that, that's that's enough on there we will do a quick hop skip and a jump over this way to you you're nearly finished Actually, you're doing a really good job there's a couple of little white spots up through there but honestly i think they don't really matter uh, I will go over to here, and I will go back to there and remove the grass bit, and we will look over here. i got one tiny little bit up there that actually shows up on the map, and then we got those little tiny bits over there. We go to growth that is planted. Soil composition. We've got... Oh. That's actually going to third stage fertilizer. Oh, yes. It says in the seasons thing with the crop rotation somewhere it said about that. Hey, sir, yield. Good practice. You are awarded one fertilization level when sowing crops beneficial to its history. This field has lain fallow for two years, so it doesn't matter what we put in here first time round. We're going to get a bonus fertilization put into it. Right when planting, but it's only when planting. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't come into it when you're doing anything else. Only when it's doing the planting. We got one final little stripe to do up through here, plus a couple of little spots right there, which, quite frankly, I don't think I'll bother with. And those little bits over there. So yes, th th there are the spots. We'll ignore those. We'll pretend that they don't exist. And then we've done this field. This field is all completed. So once this field is all actually completely done, we've then got to wait for field four to be at the right temperature. And the correct temperature for that one, well, at the moment we're five degrees. The soil temperature is five degrees. So the actual temperature that we're going to be waiting on, corn right there, we're going to need it to be up to 10 degrees. I mean, we can't start planting it all day five anyway. So we're probably going to want to be fast forward. I'm not starting fast forwarding just yet until we've actually got all of this in. But yeah, we, we are really pretty close to that now. So let's just check all of this. We're not going to need... The only thing that we are going to want to do up here... I'm not going to worry about fertilizer up there. I don't think that matters. And we could do a little bit of fertilizer on that one. And this one will probably do a double layer of fertilizer over it because of how the mechanic works on it. You get a boost for the fertilizer if you get it just right. And what are you going to do? Okay. There we go. We go like that tidy up this little spot right here there like that and then I've just got those other little bits the other side and we are done so I'm yeah we'll, we'll fast forward a couple of days so that we can get started on planting the maize over in the other field we've got cows that we have got grass for at the moment and well I'm I'm thinking that so I'm, I'm very tempted. I've, I've, I've been thinking maybe we should get the pigs. Maybe we should go and at least, like, get some. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.